Welcome to In Our Community. I'm your host Vidya Pradhan and this is our second episode about a very interesting nonprofit organization called Next Generation Nations or NGN.org. My guest today is Sanjeev Tanna, who's the CEO and founder of this organization. If you haven't seen our previous episode, please do so, because there we talked a little bit about the motivation behind NGN, the format of NGN, and very excitingly, the competition that NGN is going to conduct for high school students at the end of the school year. We also talked with two wonderful, ambitious, passionate high school students in our previous episode, so be sure to give that a check out. It's also on in our community. Sanjeev, welcome back to the show. Thank you. In this uh, show, we will be talking uh, with Sanjeev. I'll be talking with Sanjeev about his website, ngn.org. It's a very rich, uh, well-populated website with a lot of information and pretty much the driver of the information that he wants to give to the students, the high school students will be starting their clubs through NGN Nation. Mm -hmm. um, and the objective of the website is not just to inform the students about the goals of NGN, but also to teach mm -hmm. and educate them about world issues mm -hmm. and give them the resources they need mm -hmm. to be able to tackle some of the challenges their generation faces. So Sanjeev, uh, why don't you walk us through the website? Mm -hmm. I think, um, um, let's go to ngn.org, right. Next Gen Nation, that's where we are. And first of all, we have um, the menu item subjects, which I'm very fascinated about because that's what tells us mm. about what are the issues that you mm. picked mm. that uh, for NGN to have a focus right. in. So let's take a quick look at that. Sure. Uh, so Vidya, I just want to uh, just remind our viewers that this is a platform or this is a online education platform rather mm -hmm. than just uh, saying as a website. Uh, because this is an interactive platform, Absolutely. and I'll, I'll just show you that. So, yes. like you say that. So, f first we have this our uh, homepage. Mm -hmm. uh, in homepage, what you see here is uh, the goal here, um, and then there are three stories behind this goal, and then we have some information about uh, some messaging for uh, first for uh, viewers. Uh, what ex or they can do some interactions also. That okay, they want to start some youth movement, they want to join the club. So that, that you can see with the sliders. And that particular, I want to just uh, linger a little bit on that photograph, and that right. is your first batch of founders of the NGN club, isn't it? Right, right. So we had a, a, sum, a summer uh, NGN leadership uh, at, uh, at my house, uh, and these are the all presidents uh, and vice president, or uh, I'm going to say leadership team. Leadership team. Uh, mm -hmm. In their own uh, uh, school. And that was our first one, right, exactly. Uh, and uh, it went very well. Um, uh, I thought it was like four or five hours. We hang around and we talked about how do we successfully implement this club and GN into mm -hmm. their schools. And um, I want to emphasize that this club is open to anybody who wants to yeah, participate. Yeah, yeah Absolutely. exactly. Absolutely. And it's just this. This is um, the initial group has been formed through word of mouth mostly. Yes, yes. But then the future in the future, it's going to be it's going to happen by. Uh, the, the school yeah. environment. So our, our goal is that uh, to expand our uh, number of, right now we have five schools, we're going to expand into 100 or 120 schools all over USA, Africa, uh, USA, uh, Africa, Australia and India. That's Wonderful. our goal is uh, within within year. So, so um, once again, going back to this uh, homepage, you will see that the goals and underneath the goals, you will see either the news or you will see uh, uh, video instructions created by NGN uh, staff members. Mainly, I'm the one who's creating these uh, video lessons. So now, uh, and so the this idea, is our, sorry to interrupt, yeah. but uh, the idea is to provide them that basic information if they had not been aware of them. Right, so far. right, right. So we, we basically, uh, the video lessons which I create, it's all about, okay, here are the problems we have it, mm -hmm. and here are the root causes, and here are the impact, and here are the possible solutions. So this is one way of teaching uh, uh, our learners or, uh, that, okay, before we talk about the solutions, before we talk about big global issues, learn the basic mm -hmm. or other issues. And that's how I'm going to cover that. So we created okay. this 21. So the, on your left-hand side, you will see a subject. So the first thing you will see, NGN 2120 goals. So these are the 21 goals. Um, they are foundation of this NGN org. NGN.org or Next Generation Nations. What is so, it, 2120? So um, it's kind of a funny story. When I created uh, this uh, uh, NGN, uh, I just always wanted to bring some focus. And because my background is entrepreneurships, and when you start the project, it has to be focused. So I created 21 goals. And then I said, what's the timeline? I said, 100 years. Oh, so, that's so it happened that it's 2120. By year 2120, 
we want to solve all these issues. I almost so, wish I could be alive to see what, if it yeah, does happen. Uh, and, <laughs> and, and, and that's one of the goals. Take a look at number fifth. We uh -huh. want to make sure that we have guaranteed health care, cure deadly diseases, and live longer and healthier. I would like to live more than 150 years old, <laughs> and I, I, I do. And then I would like to live healthier and happier. And that's where the, the challenge comes out. How do we, this, curing aging is also a disease, in my view, okay? Uh, so how do we cure aging process? I mean, that's what one of the goals, mm -hmm. students will learn about it. So these are the 21 goals, and it's, uh, these are the interactive goals. I have put a lot of efforts on goal number nine, so I'm going to walk you through um, uh, goal number nine. Let's do that. Uh, so that's um, so it's interactive also. So that's about uh, create a non-violent, tolerant atmosphere around the world and ensure peace, liberty, and justice for all. So it this seems are, very timely. It, yes. it is, f f especially what's happening yes, right now in absolutely. the world right now. Absolutely, we we are all getting into our little you know tribes. Right. And fiercely disagreeing with people right. who don't agree with us. Yeah, and with, the country has been different. divided also, let's just face it, yes, right now, absolutely. the way the situation right now is. Very partisan. Um, so, so what we did, that, so first thing what you see here is that once you are inside the goal, inside the subjects, uh, you will see that four different kind of uh, uh, content. One is the news, second is videos, third is the position papers, fourth is articles. And I'll walk you through what exactly the meaning of that. So the news has been created by uh, any one of the media. So what we do that, we curate the news. Uh, we don't produce the news. And I would like to say that where the the mainstream media stop their news, this is where we pick up the news. I In mean, fact, I would say that, especially for American television, there's right. not really any emphasis at all on right. global news. Right, 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 right. I mean, so I think some of the mass media, they just focus on what's happening in the world, whether it's good for viewers, are they getting good rating, and they forget about it. What we've emphasized students that you don't want to forget about it. So for Let's example, take an example, for example, just yesterday, um, we put this news about uh, uh, human trafficking, okay? Um, so once, one thing you will see that our way of presenting news is uh, different. Uh, so first thing is that what are the issues right now, okay? And then this news came from the, the conversation. That's one of our um, uh, people we are collaborating. Um, and uh, this is the news media we asked for their permission. If they, we can republish their, their articles, then they were very much happy to share with us. So this, this, this is the republication of these articles uh, that for human trafficking, you don't have to look far, okay? And then... And this is an article or a video? This is the article, this, this is the article. article. This is the okay. news, this, the, I'm gonna say this is the news. Uh, it, it's been written by uh, uh, someone from um, uh, Texas, a professor, right? right? And then the interesting thing about our, our, our way of capturing the news is that you will see on your right-hand side goal. So what it is that this is the news, and we remind our learners, our students, our, our, our viewers that, look, here is the problem, and here is our goal. Our so goal these number, are the goals that, that conform they, they, to Yeah, this and this goal, it fits into this news oh, that, okay, yes. look, this is about human rights. And this is also about creating a nonviolent environment. Right. So this is the way we are presenting the news, that you have goals here on your right-hand side, and you have news. Now do you just go through the news. This is the article this itself. This is the article itself. Now, what you see right now here is two things. So we, after the article is done, we ask students, that, okay, now let's just debate about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like what you're creating is a resource curriculum for right. students teachers in class. Right, so this you can integrate this into classroom Classrooms. also. Mm -hmm. it just for us to put our website into next versions where we can connect the Google Classroom with our website. It's and just like the little thing that kids watch every day, the news segment that they watch every day in school. Right, so right. this would be part of the curriculum right. where maybe they're in their sociology, his, history, yeah, or right, um, right. English yeah, class. Yeah, exactly. Watch this. So, one can start debate right after this, and we provide the debate uh, 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 subject. Another thing interesting about this is that we create a quiz also. Mm -hmm. So after you are done with uh, this article, we ask the question that, okay, in this case, um, uh, one of the girls called Zena, uh, she went to uh, 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 the, uh, the, the Medicare or the urgency care, emergency care or hospital. It's a reading comprehension quiz of sorts. Right, right, right. 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 So we do ask the question that, okay, that the Zena she was been she went to the doctor or hospital and she was being asked to go back and then she was again being asked to go through a, a, a sexual activities uh, those are the kind of human trafficking activities and so the first time when she was being admitted to hospital nobody picked it up mm. uh, because there was not she was not being asked the right questions right uh, 
and, and that's not written by me, but it's been written by yes, this professor. Yes, I mean, this is coming right? from the article. This is coming from the article. Yes. So this is the reason, so we just ask our viewers that, okay, look, you go to this article and there's a quiz and you need to answer that quiz. Mm -hmm. So it's an interactive platform. And also some resource for teachers. To, it's to resource for teachers also, right. Mm -hmm. So many times teachers, they don't, they focus on, most of the time teachers in school, they focus on their core curriculum. curriculum right? yes. So this is, this can become helpful to them if they integrate this, our platform Absolutely. into their classroom. So this is the way we provide a news. Okay. Uh, so I'm pretty much sure this news will not be it, it may be forgotten, okay? We, I don't know that, but at ngn.org, we'll keep it alive. Right. And we'll keep it alive till no more human trafficking in an entire world. And that's what it is about. That how what do we- What if there's more information about the same subject? How would- Yeah, how so would we, we'll be? keep on adding the, we'll, we'll, we'll create a thread underneath this, mm -hmm. and then we can easily connect under, again, this will also come into our goal number nine, but we have to keep on adding the news on top of this, okay? We can always go back and edit that also. Right. So the main thing is that, like I said, we have debate, we have quiz, and we, in one snapshot, one snapshot, the viewers get, viewers understand that there is a problem here, and there's a goal here, we need to work towards it. So this is where uh, most of our stories are created. So now let me take you back to um, video lessons. Mm -hmm. And these are the video lessons um, created by uh, one of the students. Okay. So I'm gonna take um, uh, Rishab. Uh, he's a, uh, he's Cupertino, one, of the... one of the Cupertino High School and he's a president of Cupertino uh, NGN Club. So this is the video either we create, NGN create, I create, or our staff creates, or we ask students to create. In this case, Rushab has created. So if you have one, one and a half minutes, do you want me to... Uh, 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 let's let's it? watch it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's uh, so this is going. This is uh, Rishab is one of the founders. He's a founder of, of the uh, Cl Cupertino of Club the NGN. And... Um, was he also part of the brainstorming sessions about the yeah. direction of the club? Yeah, in the beginning I did talk with him uh, quite frequently. Uh, how do we uh, set up uh, uh, Club NGN? How do we reach to them? Okay, let's just see. Let's listen to this. Do we have audio? I think audio could be a part. Human is 99.5% similar ah. to any other human. It is this 0.5% difference that makes us all unique. If two people from a crowd are randomly picked out, what are their differences? It can be possibly inferred that almost anyone will say that the two people vary in gender, race, ethnicity, height, weight, looks, name, or other factors. What most people don't recognize is that they're both human. Society classifies different people into different groups based on their superficial personas and features which they are born with. Society doesn't care for the common ground that all these people share, which, ev which eventually leads to discrimination, racism, sexism, and segregation. This is where the problem starts, and you can help solve it. I believe in one world, one race, one voice, one V times. So uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history about what it is one V times. So um, before we, I founded this NGN, I had this one we times, that's one world, one race, um, <coughs> one, one we voice. times, one, oh yeah. And that's how it started. I mean, so I did some experiment. Yes. And then <laughs> ultimately, I end up uh, with the next generation NGN name. So just uh, in case, if, if viewers are wondering about what is what one we. One we right, is. Right. One so, voice is a wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, let me ask you this. Um, who um, has access to pro uh, pro producing videos and having, the, who can do this? So uh, that's a good question. So why don't we just go through a get involved. Okay. So anyone can create the video, okay. but before you start creating videos, start publishing, uh, blogging about uh, your opinion, uh, or you start writing essays, which you can publish uh, for your high school or for your college admission, there's a process here. The step number one is that you have to log in and register yourself, number okay. one, okay? Once you register yourself, you can get a channel. Mm -hmm. And that, now that's a unique thing about our NGN platform that everybody gets the channel as soon as you register it. In this case, um, we are building up our portfolio right now. Uh, so we have some, uh, some viewers who already started uh, working on uh, uh, creating their own channel. 
So in, in this case, for example, I'm going to take my example that this is my channel, okay? Mm -hmm. And again, everybody will get the channels as soon as they register um, to ngn.org. And if you look at my work, I have created uh, several videos, video lessons. Um, and that video lessons, um, mainly I'm talking about uh, water crisis in India. Okay. My goal here is to reach to the Indian kids, mm -hmm. Indian next generations, that okay, India is sitting on the verge of water crisis. Uh, and I'm just walking them through uh, government uh, 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 articles. Uh, there was a report uh, uh, by a government of India, water management uh, uh, of Indi water management index. So I just th that was a, the report was very complex. So I just split it into four or five different videos and simplify for them. So again, this is the, this is one of the one of the way we are reaching there. So anyone can uh, the, the point is that anyone can create the video lessons, anyone can write articles, anyone can publish the news. Of course, we curate that. Mm -hmm. So once you create the videos, it comes to us. We make sure that it's not offending to anyone, and we approve that. And it does most of the time it does get. Is there someone also doing fact checking? We are, we are, uh, not to the extent I would like to do it. Uh, but um, moving forward, uh, I'm talking about a year from now, we'll create a collaborative platform where uh, if if you submit the video or news your community will be doing a fact checking. So right now we are doing it, what are the resources we have it right now. Okay. So to answer your question, uh, anyone can create the video, anyone can write the news. So long as they're members of So long as they are the members of ngn.org. Uh, anyone, now the beauty about this, uh, having your own channel is that, like you have LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, you have your own unique ID. That's true. This is the same thing, ngn.org slash channel Vidya Pradhan. Right. So now, this ID you can put in your resume, right? And that's it. You don't have to brag anything about that. I did this much community services, and this is what I stand for. This is why. These are the causes I care for. All you need to create your ID and put in your resume, and that's it. That would be good enough for anyone. It's so, a good incentive, right? So we are creating a portfolio for whoever wants to do voluntary job. And uh, these videos have to be about one of the 21 subjects. Yes, exactly. So the, the, the focus has to be 21 goals. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then 21 goals are broader, so, you know, I think. It is pretty yeah, broad. Yeah, it's, as there, so long as any problem would probably fit into one of these. Right, right. So right. one one misunderstanding, uh, or just I just want to clarify to our viewers that these are not NGN goals. Our, our goal is to educate and empower the next generations, and they will solve the um, the global issues. Right. These are the 2121 goals belongs to the uh, next generation nations. Uh, our goal is to educate and empower. And the next generations, they are the one who are going to solve this problem. Now, in these uh, 21 goals, I did not see a subdivision. I know for the competition itself, right. you're bringing in a much sharper focus. Right. So as to not overwhelm the right. children also. Right. So there are a certain amount of, uh, so how did you come up right. with those? Right, so let's just talk about competition. So mm -hmm. competition is one of the core subject matter when we talk about high school activities, right? right. So if you overview this uh, uh, competitions, uh, we are finalizing these competitions, rules and everything, um, uh, I would say by the end of this week. But pretty much um, we explain about, uh, there are two kinds of competitions, good governance and STEM competition. These are the two different uh, type of competitions we have it. And um, when it comes down to um, competition uh, subject matter, uh, let's just go to the STEM uh, okay. um, competition. So within STEM, we have selected 15 topics. Okay. Okay, for this year. So the competition, the teams, Oh, we actually, I don't know if you talked about that in a previous episode, but the way it works is kids join the club NGN in mm -hmm. their high school, mm -hmm. and within that, they form teams mm -hmm. of three to four kids mm -hmm. per team. Uh, two to three kids. Right. Two to three kids per team, and then they pick one of these subjects, right. uh, either a STEM subject or a good governance right. subject, right. and then they work on that particular subject right. throughout the year, deep dive, right. learn everything about right. it, and come up with a position paper right. on a solution. Right. So okay. they have uh, three uh, three. Uh, there are three elements of the competition. One is the re written research paper. They need to make sure that the position paper in, in include uh, the intense research on what are the root causes, uh, the impact solutions they propose. So there will be 15 pages of a report that they need to submit. And then if this is a STEM competition, they'll be providing prototype or posters. Uh, now the prototype could be functional or non-functional. We don't care as long as it communicate, uh, it addresses the issue. And then the third part, 
this is where um, the the team will present um, based on this Guy Kawasaki uh, 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 ten slide, ten slide model. model, and they talked about uh, uh, what are the issues, uh, what are their business models, and literally we are they are doing a role play for the co-founders. They are like a startup co-founders. They they name the company, uh, they register the company again, not literally, but we'll ask them where you are going to register your company, how you're going to raise your funding. So we are putting that, they are, they are, they are assuming the role of co-founders, just a typical startup. So you're you're tre treating um, solving world problems as a professional business approach. It's a business the, approach, okay. right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. Is there also a grilling part where the, the judges can ask them questions? About yes, it? I think this is where, I think the, the judge will ask, so we, we are giving, we are expecting a, a huge turnout. So it's a 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, I think, uh, Overall, it's a 15 minutes per team, but 10 minutes we'll ask students to make their presentation, and five minutes remaining for the students, for the judges to grill them. Right? Okay. So this is the competitions uh, we are heavily rely on, and that's that. That is one of the motivating factor for uh, many schools to join. The At least in the initial <laughs> years. Yeah. And, and yeah. You're you're trying to seed the, right. you know, right. field. And, 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 and to be honest, this is where I think this ngn.org platform. Our our vision is that. If you want to do some research, if you want to look for the articles, uh, this is the platform you can learn about uh, all the global issues. You don't have to go beyond our platform. And because we have our own resources, putting all the articles, news, video lessons, our own original articles, we started putting inside also. So um, so we talked about subject. Mm -hmm. We talked about uh, uh, competitions. So here's a high school. Let's say if um, I want to bring uh, NGN to my high schools, what do I do? You just go to the high school and they say, bring club NG and fill out this form and then we'll get back to you in 24 hours. Right. That's why it's that simple. So right now we have five schools, we have hand chosen. But now is, is it limited this year to only this year five we are, we, This okay. year we are just going with only five, sto five schools. Next year it's going to be, we're expecting more than 100 high schools all over the USA. And okay. we do want to include uh, international like India, um, Australia uh, and Africa, and one, one uh, club we want to select in those countries also. So anyone can start the a club NGN. Uh, if you don't know uh, whether the, the club already, already exists, exists, you mm -hmm. can just go to the find club and then see if the club exists in your area or not. Um, now, another thing I want to talk about is the advisors. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning when I started, um, it's a student moment club, okay? I mean, most of the time people start a club or, or company corporation from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. um, my, I always advocate that let's just start from students. Right. Okay, and then later on I decided that, you know, that I need some help from students' parents and other professionals, mm -hmm. grown-ups also. And this is where I think this uh, I, uh, one more element comes down that uh, we're asking for ambassadors or advisors um, from all over the world to join uh, our uh, mission. And they're vision. the mentors? Of they're the mentors, they're the mentors. So mm -hmm. uh, we just now started a meetup for NGN ambassadors and we got like 25 members within Bay Area mm -hmm. that are willing to become NGN ambassadors. So the goal is here is that they will, these are the ambassadors, they will work with um, the local high, their local community, local high schools. They will set up, uh, uh, they'll send out some of the speakers, they'll set up uh, 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 factory tours, they will help the students in their uh, uh, project mm -hmm. if they need help. Uh, it's, a, it's a first year, uh, the responses are good. Uh, we need to make sure that we connect the dots properly right. uh, because we have the students on one side, we have advisor on this side. So right now I am- You're doing a lot of the work. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of work, <laughs> but now I think we need to make sure it's scale up also. And for that, we have now some ambassadors from Southern California and Northern California. All I'm just training them how the club should work, and I'm just letting them do the work. So it's, right. a, it's a scalable model. It's so that you can scale it up. Yes, right, because right. I was wondering, if 100 schools, you, you cannot be there. No, 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 yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I think for, for, th for this year, for the only five schools, I have become their advisors. Okay. Uh, but I think pretty, very, very quickly, it should, scale, it should be scalable and this is the model that's been tried by many other clubs also. So I'm not the first one who had invented. But again, our club is a little bit different. Our content is different. Our goal is different. Our vision is different. So for the first year, uh, of course, this is going to be uh, disseminated by all the founder members that you have, the mm -hmm. leadership team that you have among of students. 
and uh, you said that it's closed for any more schools mm -hmm. at this point mm -hmm. so right now the focus of this uh, particular website is just for informational purposes mm -hmm. isn't it they can't actually I mean you can join but you yeah. can't actually you may not be able to actually participate in the competition itself is that right? yeah yeah so right now for the two high school students they can join the club mm -hmm. um, and then join the competition but if you are not club NGN members then you can get your dashboard or you can get your channel right and you can start producing the videos and start publishing your news right and articles so there's right. still uh, a lot you can do yeah, with the website yeah, yeah. even if this year you're not participating in the competition right, itself right right, right you right. can log in you can you can sign up you can log in you can take advantage of all the information that's out right, there right. and prepare maybe for next year for your school to not be only that the like i said that there's an advantage of having your own unique channel. unique volunteers id okay that Absolutely. okay here's my id which you can showcase to anyone right? right i mean and then under that you can just sh talk about your vision about changing the world so this is a platform talking about how do i change the world so does the channel only like, can we go back to the channel yeah sure does the channel only allow uh, video or can you put in articles that you've written as yeah, well yeah you, you you can uh, for example yeah you you can um, there are four things you can do it uh, uh, you can write down uh, the the articles uh an essay ah i see yes you can create the news i mean so there's a difference between articles and essay article and essay that that's about your college activities or college publications or blogging what's your opinion right. news is about uh, let's say you have some news in your community you want to share that news right uh so that's something you can do that also here and the videos we are keeping it to 90 seconds video we don't want very elaborated uh, videos within mm -hmm. 90 seconds you tell me the issue the the root cause the impact and the solutions and it, it it's it should be very straightforward i mean there are some clubs i know that they are running on just on 90 seconds video only mm -hmm. so um so that's one of the so there are, and then if you want to write down position papers um which you want to submit to your local community or lo your local uh, governance governance yeah mm -hmm. then we give you an opportunity to write that also so we have right now at least 200 right now as i'm speaking i have 200 position papers right now written over last 4 months okay. it just that i did not get a chance to upload that yeah okay. uh it's just a matter of time we'll just upload And these it. are all written by students these are all written by students i didn't have to ask them they heard about from somewhere and they just submitted to to us Uh, let me uh, talk stem is something that comes naturally to yeah. these kids governance may not be this mm -hmm. may not be their exposure have you shared this idea with uh, local members of the government and what kind of response have you right no it's a good question um as far as sharing this idea with the local government no we have not done it yet but that's the direction we we need to go where we need to ask not only we had to ask them but we had to ask them to participate in our club also our it's, our it's an important thing right. because you can come with all the ideas you want but if the political will isn't right. there to enforce a lot of them right right so there's competitions we have finalized the competition this week and our goal is that to reach out to our city mayors uh, i know a couple of city mayors and we are going to ask them to join our board of advisors also and then yes, that makes sense. we are also going to ask them to join us and become judges also right because there are some students they will select strictly good governance uh, as exactly. a, as their uh, competitions uh, exactly. and th at that time um we want to make sure that we have competent judge sitting and grading the students work absolutely sanjeev we are pretty much running out of time mm -hmm. that uh, brings us to the end of the show so viewers i just want to quickly recap what we discussed in this particular episode for next generation nations we um, had a drill down on the website so for if you're interested there's a lot of information out there it's ngn.org as you can probably see on your screen right now um please do take a look at uh, that and of course uh, there are i'm sure there's some contact information to reach out to sanjeev and his team uh, to get uh, more information on that and how your um, high school student can participate sanjeev it was a pleasure having you in the student today and i'm really excited to see what these young students are going to do in the future so yeah thanks for inviting me thanks a lot so, That's it for in our community show on next generation today I'm your host Vidya Pradhan saying thank you and goodbye